You've worked hard to edit the best video possible. Now it's time to share it with the world. But how can you be sure you're exporting your video correctly? Don't worry, we're here to show you how to export and share with YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Vimeo, and more. In this video, we'll show you every step. Haley here from Video Maker. There are time codes below if you want to know what we're covering or want to jump to any place in the video. Do you want to edit faster? If so, we have a list of the top 10 keyboard shortcuts you need to know. To get it, click on this card or on the link in the description. The first step in figuring out the best export settings for a specific video is to determine how and where the video will be viewed. This will help you decide how you will balance video quality with file size. For instance, for videos destined to be viewed on a small smartphone screen, you'll want to prioritize fast loading times over immaculate video quality. The reverse may be true if you are exporting a short film for festival distribution. Also, keep in mind that each destination will likely have its own format requirements, so it's important to take that into consideration when exporting your video. You may even need to export multiple versions of your video if it will be delivered to more than one destination. Let's go through the process of exporting a high quality version of your video that can be used in a variety of situations. When you're ready to export your video, designate the section of your timeline to export using I and O to mark the endpoints and outpoints respectively. Then navigate to the export tab at the top of the Premiere Pro interface. This is where you can adjust your export settings. In the export tab, choose the media file option from the list on the left side of the screen. Settings for this profile will then appear in the next panel. Here, you can change the file name and its destination, as well as select different presets and formats. We'll use H.264. Make sure both video and audio options are toggled on, then expand the video settings menu. While you can change options like frame size and frame rate, in this case, we want these values to match our source sequence, so hit the match source button. It should be the default setting. Next, hit the more button to display more video options and make sure render at maximum depth and use maximum render quality are checked. Then under the encoding settings, choose hardware encoding from the drop-down menu, then uncheck the profile option to unlock it and choose high. Next, adjust to level 4.2 or 5.2 for 4K video. Let's move on to bitrate settings. This will have the greatest impact on both the size and the quality of your video file. We'll want to change this to VBR one pass. VBR stands for variable bitrate. With this setting, the bitrate of your video will change based on the complexity of the clip, thus optimizing both file size and quality. You can also set a target bitrate in this section. Bitrates between 20 and 30 megabits per second are recommended for HD video, while 60 to 80 megabits per second is appropriate for 4K footage. For audio, we can leave most settings at their default, but increase the audio bitrate to 320 kilobits per second. Then make sure use maximum render quality is checked. Once you have your settings in place, consider saving these as a custom preset. That way, it will be easy to revert back to these preferences when exporting future projects. After that, you're ready to hit the export button to export your finished video. With that out of the way, let's take a look at the best export settings for some specific destinations. While the settings we just discussed will give you a high quality version you can watch on your computer or share with clients, exporting a video for theater viewing is a bit different. Since theater projectors can only project certain file formats, you'll need to prepare your footage accordingly. While different theaters might have different requirements, they usually require some version of a digital cinema package, or DCP. Be sure to check with the specific theater to make sure you know exactly what the projector can and can't accept. You definitely don't want any surprises during your screening. To export your video as a DCP in Premiere Pro, open your sequence and head to the Export tab in Premiere Pro to select your settings. We'll use the media file option again, but this time choose Raptor DCP as the format. In the settings that appear, select your video dimensions and frame rate according to your projects and the theater's requirements. The video codec will be locked to JPEG 2000, which all theater projectors will accept. For audio, select the appropriate options based on how your project is mixed. After that, you're ready to export. Note that DCPs are much larger than most other formats, so make sure your drive has enough space to store the full file. 
If you want to export at higher resolutions or non-standard frame rates, just make sure your theater can accept those non-standard formats before investing. At the other end of the screen size spectrum, we have video designed for viewing on mobile devices. Given the small screen and the fact that many viewers will be watching on a cellular data connection, it makes sense that export settings for mobile video will favor small file sizes over pristine quality. That's why the HD mobile video preset in Premiere Pro uses a bit rate of only eight megabits per second. Most video viewed on a mobile device will be hosted somewhere online whether that's a social media site like Facebook or Twitter or a video hosting platform like YouTube or Vimeo. Each social media platform has different requirements when it comes to uploading video content. That means you'll likely need multiple versions of your video suitable for different destinations. Let's head back into the export tab in Premiere Pro. Here, we can see profile options for YouTube, Vimeo, Twitter, and Facebook, just under the media file option that we've been using. We can toggle on these profiles to export optimized versions for each social media platform. If your video is destined for YouTube, toggle on the YouTube export profile. Here, you'll see that in addition to the video and audio settings we worked with in the previous example, you now have a publish section. When signed into a YouTube account, this will allow you to upload your newly exported video to YouTube automatically, complete with metadata like title, description, and tags. For example, we'll choose the YouTube 1080p Full HD preset to encode our video in H.264. You can find this and other presets by selecting More Presets and then searching for YouTube in the search bar. Presets in other resolutions up to 4K are also available. Using the built-in YouTube presets helps ensure your export will meet the platform's requirements, but you might choose to make some adjustments in specific circumstances. If you do, keep in mind YouTube's accepted file formats, resolutions, and recommended bit rates. Next up, the Vimeo export profile. Here, like in the YouTube export profile, you will have the option of uploading the exported video directly to a connected Vimeo account. Again, we'll open up the More Presets option and search for Vimeo, choosing the Vimeo 1080p Full HD preset in this case, though there are presets for 4K along with other resolutions. And again, we can leave most of the settings as they are unless you have special requirements. For instance, the preset leaves room to increase the bit rate slightly from its standard 16 megabits per second, since Vimeo recommends 10 to 20 megabits per second for full HD footage and 30 to 60 megabits per second for 4K. Likewise, the Twitter export profile also provides published settings so that you can upload the video along with a status to a connected Twitter account. Premiere Pro also provides a few different Twitter presets with 1080p as the top resolution. Finally, you can also export your video for direct upload to Facebook right from the Premiere Pro export interface. Presets for Facebook include options for 4K, 1080p and 720p, but you may want to customize your aspect ratio since Facebook supports all aspect ratios, including square video. Okay, that was a lot of different export settings, but fortunately the presets built into Premiere Pro will generally give you good results. Whenever you export for a new destination, whether it's a client, a theater, or a social media platform, make sure to check the requirements and stick to them. Knowing the right export settings for your video and its destination will ensure your audience gets the best viewing experience possible. Remember, if you'd like to get our list of the top 10 keyboard shortcuts you need to know, click on this card or the link in the description. If you've made it this far, consider subscribing and liking this video. Thanks for watching.